In section 8.1, we are going to start with geometry. Volume of cylinders. So we're going to have to use the formula for volume for different shapes to actually calculate our answer. So in this section, 8.1, we're going to talk about cylinders. So here is your key idea. In words, the volume V of a cylinder is the product of the base, which is a circle, and the height of the cylinder. All you have to do is find the area of the base on a cylinder. The base is a circle. So to find the area of a circle, you take pi r squared, and then you times it by the height of the cylinder. So if we drew a picture, which I do want you to draw, this is a really bad drawing, but this right here is the base. The area of the base is the pi r squared. And the height would be the height of the cylinder. So find the volume. We're going to round all of our answers to the nearest tenth when necessary. So all you do is write down the formula. I want you to make sure you follow these steps because if you try to skip steps, you are more likely to make mistakes. Step one. This is always, always going to be step one. Step one, write the formula. Our formula is volume equals pi r squared times height. Step two, plug in the values. So in number one, we notice that we have a radius of three and a height of six. So a radius of three. So we know pi. Pi is 3.14. The radius is 3, so then it would be 3 squared times the height, and the height is 6. That's it. I mean, there's not much to this. Pi, you plug in 3.14. The radius is 3, the height is 6. So now you follow order of operations. You solve. So V equals 3.14. 3 squared is 9. You have to follow order of operations. You do not multiply first. You take care of the power. And now all you do is multiply 3.14 times 9 times 6. And your answer is 169 and 56 hundredths, 0.56. We want to round our answer to the nearest tenth. So that'd be 169.6. We're talking about volume. So it's going to be meters cubed or cubic meters. Pretty easy. You have a formula, you plug everything in, and then you just solve it. 169.6 cubic meters. So in example number two, we have another cylinder. We know that here, the diameter, this is the diameter, is eight. The height is three and a half. So we write down the formula. Volume equals pi r squared times height. And now I plug in my values. Volume equals pi. Pi is 3.14 times the radius. Now the diameter is 8. The radius is half that. So the diameter is 4. Squared times the height, which is 3.5. Now we simplify. So we take 4 times 4 which is 16, so 4 squared is 16, it's not 8. And now I multiply the pi, which is 3.14, times the radius square, which is 16, times the height, which is 3.5. My answer is 175.84, but if I round it to the nearest tenth, it's 175.8, label, cubic centimeters. Example number three. We have a cylinder on its side. We know the diameter is 15 feet and the height is 13 feet or 13.5 feet. Please make note that this is the height because this is on its side. So this is the height. That's the diameter. So we write down our formula. V equals pi r squared times height. V equals 3.14 times radius squared. Well, the radius is half the diameter. Half of 15 is 7.5, so we have to take 7.5 squared 
times the height, which is 13.5. Now we have to take 7.5 squared. 7.5 squared is 56 and 25 hundredths times 13 and a half. Now we just multiply all three numbers together. 3.14 times 56.25 times 13 and a half gives us, on your calculator, it will look like 2,384.4375. If we round it to the nearest tenth, that is 2,384.4, and your answer is going to be cubic feet. And there's your answer. Number four, a water cooler, a water cooler bottle is one and seven tenths feet high and has a diameter of a foot. About how many gallons does a water cooler contain? Here are your choices. 5.3 gallons, 10 gallons, 17 gallons, and 40 gallons. Now remember, Volume, which is what you're doing, is how much something a container holds, how much space a 3D object makes up or takes. So you're figuring out how much water fits inside the water cooler. So the first thing you know is the water cooler is, is cylindrical. So we're going to use volume equals pi r squared times the height. Volume equals pi, which is 3.14. The radius, well, we know the diameter is a foot. The radius is half that, so that would be 0.5 squared times the height, which is 1.7. So we take 0.5 squared. That's going to give us 25 hundredths, or 0.25. Now we just multiply everything together. 0.25 times 3.14 times 1.7 is 1.3345. But remember, this is in cubic feet. It says up here that one cubic feet is approximately 7.5 gallons. So we have 1.3345 cubic feet. Times that by 7.5. This is what you get. In gallons. So approximately how much water is in a water cooler that contains these dimensions? It's about 10 gallons. This would be a good practice ISAT problem that they could possibly give you. You have to find the answer knowing that a, a water cooler is a cylindrical um, container, which they will give you that. I mean, they won't, they won't make you guess if it is. They will probably give you a picture. And then you take your picture, use your formula, and then convert it at the end.